Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tech Enthusiast channel. In today's video we are going to take a look at some of the major changes in Windows 11 developer build version 22523. So Microsoft is claiming that they have rolled out a, a snap groups feature in Alt Plus Tab View, just like I have it here on my taskbar. If I hover on my um, taskbar and you will see that I have a group created, on the left I have Notepad and on the right I have File Explorer. And they are claiming that uh, if I have the group created right here, that this should also be seen on my Alt Plus Tab. And if I click right now, Alt Plus Tab, you should probably see that we don't have the group right here. But Microsoft is actually claiming that this feature would be actually available to all developer users. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong right here. So let me know in the comment section down below so to enable some features or something like that. Microsoft is also trying to bring a lot more features from the control panel or settings to the Windows settings application. This time in this update, they are bringing a feature that if I go to the programs right here in the control panel, and if I click here to uninstall a program, this should link to the Windows settings of the Windows settings application right here. And here from here, I can actually uninstall any application. And they are also moving the Windows um, update section as well. So to remove Windows updates, if I go to the Windows settings and then you will go to the Windows update and here you will go to the update history. And then you will scroll down at the bottom and here you have a new option, uninstall updates. And for example, if you have some major issues with the recent update, then you can simply uninstall it right here. So Microsoft decided to fix a whole lot of issues in this build. For example, for the taskbar, they fixed an issue related to text input initialization that could lead to the shell, for example, start menu and search, becoming non-responsive on ARM64 PCs. And the battery icon tooltip should also no longer unexpectedly show a percent above 100. App icons should no longer overlap the date and time on secondary monitors when there are a lot of opened apps. For the Spotlight Collection, which is a brand new feature from the recent build, uh, they fixed an issue that after enabled Spotlight Collection, your first image should also arrive a little faster and also they added an icons to the Spotlight Collection context menu in trace. In the widget panel, they fixed an issue causing links to not open properly when opening the widget board using Hover. And also one major feature that I'm actually missing right here is to have the widgets right here on the left, as was presented on the previous build of the Windows Developer channel. So I think this should actually be provided with the next developer build, which will be in the new year, so in 2021, so this is the last build for 2021 uh, as depends for the developer channel and with that said have a wonderful rest of your day thank you for watching and if you haven't already smack the subscribe button and i'll see you all in the next one peace